I'm Sharon Calvin. I'm here with Eye on Tampa Bay. And we're in an event here today. Um, it's a Heritage Action event, and I've got Karen Jarosh. And Karen, just tell me a little bit about uh, what your position is with Heritage and what this event is tonight. Well, I am the Florida Regional Coordinator for Heritage Action for America, and we're holding a defund Obamacare town hall tonight, in part because our members of Congress are in recess during August, and many of them are not having conversations with their constituents. So this is an opportunity for Floridians to come and have their views made. Well, this is a, a great opportunity um, for those who, who do need to get educated on this, on this issue, because within the next 30 days, um, we will have a, a, a funding issue that Congress will be voting on. And right now, um, from the congressional perspective, um, we will hear from Senator DeMint, who is, who is advocating that while we can defund Obamacare, we do not need to shut down the government. So just give us a little information about that. Absolutely. We are advocating that the House members fund the government fully, except for the failed Obamacare policies that even the President has acknowledged do not work. He's actually asked for a one-year suspension on the employee mandate. Um, there's no security in the exchanges that are due to set um, in next month to open up. And uh, we just think that we need to take the funding out and, um, you know, give it some time. We've actually, we'll be coming out with some recommendations that we think are a better solution to the problem. And I think that that's another thing that I think Americans are looking for is what is that alternate strategy or those alternate solutions. Um, so you think maybe Senator DeMent will be, be our Heritage Foundation will be going back on tour to take that out? Um, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're certainly going to look forward to that. But tonight, we're actually going to hear um, former Senator DeMent, and he's going to be giving us good reasons why, um, as Americans, we've got to look at this issue very seriously at this time and, um, and look at defunding this. It can be done. And I believe what Senator DeMent is saying is that it's the people that can make it happen. Absolutely. It's the people that need to come out and talk to their member of Congress and tell them to sign on to the Meadows letter, which basically tells House leadership, look, we want to fund the government. We don't want to fund Obamacare. It's been done. The Hyde Amendment is passed every year. Uh, some of them are using the excuse that it's mandatory spending that can't be cut. Uh, Hyde Amendment uh, shoots that to the roof. They do it all. In fact, the Congressional Budget Office has a term for uh, when you defund parts of mandatory spending. So anyhow, it can be done, and we need the people to urge their member of Congress to get behind it. Well, we're excited because I think a lot of people don't understand that. So we're going to hear this tonight, and we appreciate uh, Karen's comments and look forward to hearing uh, Senator this evening. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Thank it. you.